storm. Let's get to meteorologist Liz McGiffin with more. Liz. And right around 3 o'clock, that's when we got that official update where we saw that return back up toward Category 5 strength with Milton. At last check, wind speeds 165 miles per hour, and you'll notice that path moving up to the east-northeast at 9 miles per hour. As far as the latest motion on the track goes, it's expected to maintain that Category 4 to 5 strength as we approach noon tomorrow. Notice even ahead of the system making landfall, Tampa, Orlando, Jacksonville already starting to get some of those rain bands from this system by the time we head toward Wednesday right before midnight, maintaining that category four strength as moisture starts to push just south of the Tampa area closer to Sarasota could be where they even see some landfall impacts from this. That system continues to push moisture as we head throughout the day on Thursday morning and into the afternoon to eastern parts of Florida. You'll notice by the time it exits the state, it's expected to still be category one hurricane strength before this weekend finally pushing its way back off into the Atlantic and losing some momentum. There will be some major impacts from this system as well, including storm surge, wind and heavy amounts of rainfall. Areas from Tampa into Orlando, even toward Daytona Beach, could be seeing anywhere from six to even 12 inches of rainfall, and especially those areas in white. That's where they could be seeing over a foot of rainfall on the way. Here across Colorado, though, it has been a very different story with very dry conditions. And Chief Meteorologist Dave Frazier will be back with how long this warm and dry weather will be sticking around coming up. All right, Liz.